You need to brand your products to build your business. You need an accurate and reliable setup so you can rep out new creations or modify existing items for a new customer. A square, precise, predictable, and dead simple setup is next. Okay, the first thing you're gonna need is an actually square piece of wood. You can cut that with a table saw, you can buy that from a big box store, you can cut that on the machine itself. Just cut yourself a square piece of wood, meaning a square or a rectangle. Either shape will do just fine. Next thing, you're gonna need two stops. Now these are from our Crush It Essentials kit and they're perfect for this job. You can also use our essential clamps, turn them upside down, screw them into your track and you can use those as stops, but I prefer the newer ones. If you own Tiger Claws, you can use an entirely uncompressed Tiger Claw for this operation. Now on the other side, you're gonna need a couple of clamps. Horizontal clamps, those are our Crush It Essentials. You can utilize our Crush It Pro clamps. Again, you can utilize the Tiger clamps. Any of those will do. By the way, Crush It Essentials, Crush It Pros. Yeah, a lot of good stuff going on in the clamping area right now if you're a Shapeoko user. Under the categories of things you must have, a left side edge guide. I made this on the Shapeoko. It's made of hard maple. It's made with an inset here, and I've used three T's nuts to mount it into the machine. It was a little bit wide at the time that I made it, and then I cut it with the actual Shapeoko so it is square, square to the gantry. This is the basis point upon which I run all of my tiling operations, as well as this particular flip setup. All right, optional accessories, let's talk about that. Three, two, one blocks or one, two, three blocks, depending upon what direction you're going. These are useful to have around so that you can squarely and accurately place items away from your left side edge guide. If I have these blocks in place, I know that it carries square out to my stock and I can set it up there perfectly. The other item that's optional is the bit zero. This is an accessory from Carbide 3D. This is utilized to set your exact position in X and Y along with the Z. With this, you can get that position 100% correct. Once you have the stock in place, you can bring in your X guides and whether those are stops or clamps is up to you. Any of these will work. If you bought the Crush It Essentials, you also have the Crush It Nuts and Bolts. Oh, so handy all the time. Don't have to have the fancy stops, but they're nice and big. Essential clamps are kind of nice because if you hit them, well, it's not going to be a big deal. If you hit these guys, more of a big deal, but unless you hit the actual bolt, not that bad. With that all set, we now have a square area to mount anything in that is going to be square to the machine. If you want to space this away, you bring in a pair of 321 blocks. We are now two inches away. You want to go three inches? No problem. Here you go. We are now three inches from the edge, but still square to the machine. How about six inches? Yeah, we could go way out here. And that's why these blocks are incredibly handy. Bang, we are six inches out. Let's put in another guide here. There you go. We have created an accurate guide across four slats of the machine here. Once we have this edge guide, we don't have to do anything with this side. We are actually square here. As long as we know our material is square, we are all set and go ahead and clamp it in. We can use Crush It Essentials. We can use Crush It Pros. We can use Tiger Claws, short or long, all kinds of options. And you might wonder, Kevin, why would I want to use the Tiger Claws if these are your newest clamps? This is the newest, latest, and greatest. Isn't this for every occasion? The answer is no. Work holding as diverse as your projects are going to be. There are times where I would want to just secure something and I'm going to cut it out. There are other times where I want to secure something and I'm going to face it. If it's a thinner material, if I'm going to face it down quite a bit, I don't want to hit these top bolts. I want to make sure that I have a lot of clearance. That's where the Tiger Claws can be of huge benefit. The difference in height when it's next to the stock is something that could be critical when you're trying to set up your facing operation. You wanna make sure you don't hit these clamps as you go across. You certainly don't wanna hit these bolts. So this might be the better option for any particular project. With that, I can go ahead and crank down on here. Hold your stock down, even though you're getting vertical and horizontal pressure. 
and that is gonna be square to my machine. I recently used this exact method to produce the Air Jordan push stick. I first created my art and centered it inside of my stock. Then I created a mirror image of my art and centered it for the B-side cut. Side A located with the 321 blocks as well as those X guides. Once complete, flip over for side B. With the exact same setup, you get a dead on alignment, producing a perfectly flipped machined item. Now I want you to go try out this method on your machine. It's accurate, flexible, it's easy to set up, easy to tear down. And we'll be back here at HQ with more information, ideas, and inspiration.